You know, when I said that my garden was a five-year plan, I wasn't kidding. Uh, welcome back to the garden. It's year three and I'm about to add a raised bed in the vegetable garden. Okay, welcome back to the garden. I'm not going to give you a full tour. Um, <laughs> just wanted to share the roses. Um, Olympiad. John Paul II, and then the new one here is Soul Desire. Uh, this is what the yard looks like right now. And I do have a raised bed in the back um, that I installed last year. And here's the vegetable garden as of now. I hope you're watching the gardening videos I've been posting every week because I'm showing you basically everything I'm doing um, almost every day in here. But there's a space right there and that is for a new raised bed. Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to Healing Time, um, established 2020. Yes, I built all of this and I'm proud of myself. <laughs> it's a joy to come here every single day, work in the garden, watch things grow, uh, watch things not grow and adjust. Today I'm assembling another raised uh, garden bed. This one was sent to me by Costway, um, same company that did the desk in Willie's um, room and the patio set, which we use when I'm working uh, remote. Scott and I have lunch on the patio when it's good weather and it's very nice. We love it. But now it's gardening season, so I'm going to show you the garden bed that I got from Costway. It's 73 by 43 it's not one of those uh, modular type where you can do different shapes or whatever it's just basically a big rectangle so before i start building it i just want to tell you a little bit about the benefits of having a raised bed and then the cons so pros and cons pros if you rent or you know you're not gonna stay permanently at your location, raised beds are wonderful because once you're done and you're moving, um, you can disassemble it, flatten the soil wherever it was, and move it and reassemble it somewhere else. It's kind of portable. You could move it if you needed to. Second, if you live in an area where the soil is really garbage, Mine, for instance, is mostly clay, and I've been adding and you know doing all sorts of things to it, amending, um, and I'm also doing the back to it and gardening method with the wood chips on top of it. I've been very happy with it, uh, but if your soil is not great um, and it's going to take you a very long time to get it to where it needs to be, a raised garden bed can help you get the right soil right away for your garden. Um, you can have the right ratio of topsoil and compost and adjust the pH, do everything right the first time around. It's not a guessing, uh, not a guessing game anymore. If you have a bad back, it's much easier. The soil is always going to be somewhat aerated and light and fluffy because you're adding soil to it and then it does kind of uh, settle so you can add more but generally speaking because you don't step on it the soil is always going to be very good when it comes to drainage um, so that comes with a con the con is because there's good drainage you have to water them a little bit more often than you would water a regular garden one the heat up on the side two the water drains much faster so they do require a little bit more water um, another advantage is that you can do um, a lot of succession in it of very short life type vegetables so if you want to do lettuces salads um, things like that they're perfect for that and again because they are short vegetables you don't have to bend as much and generally speaking, I find them, like the one in the back, I find them to be very easy to maintain. They're easier to weed. I just like the whole idea of a raised garden beds. They do heat up um, and they are costly. 
So in addition to the cost of the actual raised bed, if you're going to purchase one, you also have to fill it up. So you have to fill it up with soil, the soil that you want, and soil and cheap, okay? You don't want to do just topsoil, uh, you want to do a mix of garden soil, topsoil, um, if you want to get some um, peat moss and the compost and the warm casting and all of that. So it is an initial cost to have a raised bed. But if you have an area of your yard that you never know what to do with it because it's getting a lot of shade, the advantage, and that's the reason why I'm doing this right here on this spot of my vegetable garden, it will raise your vegetables towards the sun. This is a little bit too close to the deck and when the sun turns, because this, uh, this is the west and this is east behind me, what happens is that um, around noon time, this area here, the sun is right behind the um, louver, whatever you call it, window in my attic. So this area here is actually getting a little bit more shade. So I'm going to raise everything so that it catches the sun. That's the reason why I'm doing a raised bed right here. So let's look at the boxes. Scott is going to help me. I'm going to assemble it and I'm going to fill it up today. I'm not planting anything um, because I have to let it sit a little bit, um, but definitely in the uh, video, either this week or next week, that's the weekly in my garden video. You will see me put some stuff in it. So let's get started. So for those of you who are not watching those weekly videos, this is um, the vegetables as of now. So I'm going to give you a really quick tour. Well, you know my roses. Um, I do have two volunteer lettuces uh, that were growing somewhere in here. I just moved them at the bottom. Over here I have um, Korean cucumbers. And then, so these are the plants. And then I have two seeds that I planted two days ago on the other side. So it's kind of like succession. Um, I want to extend my growing season for the Korean cucumbers. Over here I only have three things. The rest is empty. These are actually, they are so sorry looking. These are my own tomatoes. Um, if you remember, I told you my seedlings really suffered this year, but I'm trying them anyway. This one is a Mama Leon. The one in the middle is a um, atomic fusion. And the third one is a chocolate Russian. These are Korean hot peppers, followed by three bell peppers, and all the way in the back is Korean eggplants. This is an entire row of edamame um, that I started about three days ago, and some of them are already popping out. And then here I have Swiss chards and four turnips. There are seedlings that I started and look like they're going to make it, and the rest is also... Um, turnips and then over here is all the tomatoes I have two cherry two Roma and one that was a volunteer tomato uh, and also a mystery no idea which one it is from last year and then the rest is herbs okay so let me show you the boxes and we're gonna get started so here it is the Costway um, raised bed it comes in two boxes I'm assuming this one is the actual bed and this is probably just the joints and the parts. So I'm going to open that first, box two of two, and we're going to see what's in it. So from the look of it and the picture that I've seen so far, it doesn't look like this one has a gazillion um, screws. All right. So yeah, just like I thought, this is the joints. And they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 32, uh, that's 64 screws altogether. Does it have the screws with it? Yeah, it's all right here. Right, let's see what they got. Okay. 
Oh, they gave you the screwdriver. Look at that. So, how about we get a second one? That's a Phillips screwdriver. Excellent. So, these are the sides. This is the support that goes in the middle so that it doesn't cave in. And instructions. Throw those out. Yeah, right? The bars are for if you want to stand it and use it as a shed, either vertically or horizontally to put wood in it. And I'm going to insert pictures right here so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, as a regular garden bed, you don't need it. So we got to get our bearings here and figure out how we're going to do this because it is uh, quite big. The other one that I had was in small parts. So it was much easier to manipulate. So basically you get a screw and a bolt and a washer and you screw on one side. You hold the bolt with this on the other side so that you can, um, you know, hold it in place and screw it. So I'm going to start removing these from the frame and I think what we should do is do at least the top and the bottom screws so that we have some kind of a structure and then we do the other ones. So here's the sequence. It's screw, washer, Screw and washer, and then the bolt. I'm not going to make them super tight. All right, so we have one, and what I'm going to do is all of them but not tighten them, and then Scott's going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're almost done. Scott only has like maybe three or four screws and this is what it looks like. Looks dirty. Um, I still have to remove all that plastic wrap. I'll probably do that when it's, once it's set up. Uh, so, 73 by 43 and I did the calculation. Um, it comes up to 1.4 cubic yards of soil if you were completely filling it up with soil. I have about one something here. So what I'm going to do is same thing I did with the other one is put um, logs at the bottom and then I still have a lot of that wood chip and by the way yes it's still here it's been here since 2020. Um, so the top part is those big chunks I'm trying to get rid of right but when you go in, you get this really fine wood chip, and that's really what you're after. That's what you want. So I got the wood chips for free, not complaining. Um, but after a couple of years, when you start digging, 
this is what you want to have on top of your garden you can walk on it it keeps the weeds at bay and it's almost now it's almost like compost in here see that look at that gold it's gold all right let me wait for scott to be done and when i come back we'll put it in the vegetable garden you know, I just realized I never measured to see if it would fit. What am I going to do if it doesn't? So, um, let's put one layer of logs. Chips? Uh, or logs? You know what, let's put chips, because I got enough chips anyway. Let's put some chips. Okay, so, um, I got to see how much shade it casts on this guy, because then I would have to move it. And then these, I may actually remove them, um, though I can, I can go through. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, next year I'm definitely moving this a little bit more over here. That's my fault for this year. But otherwise, I think it's gonna be great. Yep, all right, so I have extra chips. We're just gonna fill them up in there. Um, not too much, maybe like 10 inches, and then the rest is going to be soil. soil I think I have enough soil um, I don't know should I put more chips I don't think so you don't have to fill it all the way up you know that right plus it's gonna settle and I'm gonna add some uh, peat moss because I got peat moss as well I'll do that and worm casting all right one bag at a time Oh man, this is great. <laughs> what a difference. This is awesome because I can never grow anything in this corner, like particularly over there, but now it's raising it up towards the sun. So it's definitely going to work. Um, yes, so these I got to move. This one I got to observe the next time there's uh, a sunny day. I may have to move it over here and that's okay. Um, three cucumbers is enough anyway. These are very prolific and then I put this one right here um, I need to clean it these are all street finds I love that pot actually so I may end up putting some of these in there um, I still have these to put in pots I have baskets uh, hanging baskets and yeah so I have a little passageway here I'm going to show you right here so I can tend to the bed from this side that's the only disadvantage of putting it in a corner is that I cannot access this except from this side of the fence um, imagine if I was actually doing these all over some people do that there's actually a guy in our town about a block and a half away from us 
he has um, nothing but raised beds in his garden. And he's a serious gardener too because he does the garlic, the leeks, you name it. So, Costway, well done. It's large. Um, and again, it takes one cubic uh, yard, 0.4, 1.4 cubic yard, if you don't fill it up a little bit at the bottom. So what I did, that when we went into the pile over there, we went and picked up what was underneath. So the stuff that's from three years ago that's already decayed, um, it's at the bottom. It's going to settle. So next year I'll probably add three more bags. And... That's about it. Hold on. That's what it looks like in the garden. Yeah, I gotta move those. Um, okay, I'm done. Let me give you my final thoughts. Uh, the last thing I need to do is remove the plastic. And I'm actually going to wait uh, for the sun to heat it up because that's probably gonna be easier to remove. Uh, but otherwise, very happy. I'm trying to have a peaceful moment with the birds and somebody's using a uh, saw or whatever. Anyway, I like it. I really like it. Um, yes, it's big, but I want it big. <laughs> and this makes me even happier. <laughs> Murphy at um, Castway, thank you so much for sending this raised bed to me. I like it a lot. I give it a good four stars. Um, I don't think it needs anything. It's a pretty good height. They have different sizes, by the way, and I'm putting their website right here. So you can see what else they have in terms of raised beds. Um, it wasn't hard to put together. I mean, two people is probably best. It didn't take a lot of time, 64 screws this time around, and it looks pretty sturdy. I mean, you saw when we moved it, it was, pretty stiff it didn't look like it was kind of you know wobbly or anything and once you put the soil in it it's not going anywhere so if you want to get you one I'm putting the price right here and my great challenge subscribers you get 10% off and actually Costway is doing right now a summer chill event on air conditioning and portable air conditioning including the split kind of air conditioners so guess what my next video um, product review from Costway is going to be and I think I'm posting it on the 23rd of June is going to be a portable air conditioner you know the kind on wheels that you can just easily hook on any window and that is energy efficient so that's part of the summer chill event and you'll have time to get the major discounts they have right now on the website actually that's the air conditioner right here so that's coming up in two weeks and links are down below for the costway website use my link and then the coupon code for 10 percent four stars i think it's excellent i'm very happy with it it is a little bit bigger than i expected but that's you know just me I wanted to maximize the amount of space I was going to be able to raise from the ground and towards the Sun easy to assemble I think it looks pretty cool I can't wait to plant stuff in it and show it to you in my next gardening video if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe right in the corner you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at my great challenge and that would be it I will see you next time thanks for watching bye <laughs>